The Minn Kota Tarova is a very popular trolling motor equipped with spot lock. Today's video will provide operating instructions, Tarova features, a troubleshooting tip, as well as suggestions to help you get the best trolling motor for your boat. The Minn Kota Tarova is an electric steer motor. It is also a manually operated stow and deploy model. You use the lever here to stow and deploy the Minkota Turbo. Here's a side view of it while it is deployed. When the motor is stowed, it is going to click in and you'll see that it jumps up and you see that the lever there is now locked into place. To deploy the trolling motor, you simply need to press down on this lever, hold on to the shaft of the trolling motor up near the head, and then lower it down. If you want to adjust the height of the motor, you're going to use your depth collar adjustment. The Tarova, when stowed, needs to lock into place. As the motor is pulled up, there is a yoke on each side to support the motor, and it will click into place. These items here that are in the U-shape that support the motor, I call them a yoke, but they are actually known as fall-away ramps, and there's one on each side. On many smaller aluminum boats, the Minkota Tarova has a smaller mounting profile, which will enable it to fit on those smaller mounting platforms on an aluminum boat. It is always important to read the label and follow the instructions. Always make sure that the depth collar is slid down as far as possible on the shaft and tighten it up and that is going to avoid the motor accidentally deploying. Here's another angle showing the depth collar adjustment as far down the shaft as possible. One suggestion you might want to try that will also help we have a long shaft, 60 inch shaft trolling motor here, and this head is going to bounce around quite a bit. What some people will do is they will put a ram mount here and they will have the ball permanently attached to the trolling motor and it will go down to a fixed ram mount on the side at some point, whatever works for your boat. Or you could also use a strap and that will eliminate the bouncing around. And it's another safe, against the motor accidentally deploying if you had it too low. The piece highlighted here is part of the lift assist mechanism. This part of the lift assist mechanism is connected down to the part down by the motor and it is called the lift assist collar. For clarity purposes, this is the lift assist collar. This is Mike Rossi and he is from Humminbird, Minn Kota and Canon and he's going to show us how the lift assist works on the Tarova. Definitely. So one of the great advantages of our Tarova model, um, among many others, is um, actually stowing and deploying the motor is much easier than some other models you may have used in the past. Um, and the main reason for that is something called lift assist. And what that is, is basically a metal strip running down the shaft and it's actually coiled up in here, uh, similar to how a tape measure would be coiled. So when you stow and deploy it, it actually retracts, similar to a tape measure, and it provides an extra lift and makes it very easy to stow and deploy. That's awesome. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. The Minn Kota Altera and the Minn Kota Tarova are side by side in the display booth. They are both electric steer trolling motors. A simplistic way of thinking about a difference between the Tarova, which is on this side, and the Altera on the far side, is that the Minn Kota Tarova, as you see here, is a manual stow and deploy, whereas the Minn Kota Altera is an automatic stow and deploy. The adjustable depth collar is designed to sit flush on top of the top part of the lift assist mechanism. This piece highlighted here will drop into place automatically as the trolling motor shaft is rotated. 
As the highlighted piece shifts down into place, it will enable the depth collar to sit flush on top of the lift assist, just as it is meant to do. This notch located beneath the lift assist is where the sliding piece goes. On the rare occasion that the mechanism does not slide into place and there is a gap between the depth collar adjustment and the lift assist, we are going to show you a quick troubleshooting tip to help you solve that problem. You are going to see now as we demonstrate what to do to get this to lock into place. So we've got to rotate it. Go ahead, Brad. And this is Brad Royce's tip, and you saw how that gap is now completely Here's gone. Another angle that's going to show that sliding lock mechanism drop into place. And there it is. Now it's locked in. If you ever find yourself in a situation where your Tarova is not performing optimally, there is a good chance that the sliding mechanism has not slid down and locked into place. You could get the cord wrapping and it's a very solvable thing by using our troubleshooting tip by simply rotating the shaft in order to lock that mechanism into place. The Tarova comes with iPilot or iPilot Link and the ever popular Spot Lock. If you choose an iPilot Link trolling motor, you'll get the remote on the left and iPilot the remote on the right. The foot pedal is also included with your purchase of the Tarova. The Tarova and Altera have a GPS antenna located inside the head of the Minko the gps antenna will enable you to use the spot lock features by reading the satellites in the sky the heading sensor is more like a compass and will enable you to use the jog features hopefully this eliminates any confusion between the gps antenna and the heading sensor anglers who want their tarova to be part of the one boat network need to understand that they will need an iPilot link trolling motor paired with a compatible Humminbird unit. The iPilot model will not allow you to run your Tarova from your Humminbird. While Solex and Apex are networkable units, Helix units must have a N designated as demonstrated. Whenever here. you are purchasing a trolling motor, whether it's a Minn Kota Tarova or a Minn Kota Altera, Minn Kota Ultrax, Fortrax, it doesn't matter. I want you to always think about the analogy of layering your clothing in the wintertime. You can always take it off, but you can't put it back on. So when you are making your purchase, make sure that you don't get a shaft length that is too short. And this is a 60 inch shaft here on the Trova. And if you get a shaft that's too short, if you get any bit of waves, the trolling motor is going to bounce in and out of the water and not allow you to read the depths efficiently. For example, if you have a built-in transducer or it's just not going to perform because the prop has to be in the water to perform efficiently. You can always take it off, but you can't put it back on. So get a trolling motor with enough thrust. It's available in 55, 80, and 112 pound thrust. It's better too much than not enough. So we'll get a shaft that's long enough so it doesn't bounce out of the water. It's available in 45 inch, 54, 60, and 72 inch trolling motor shaft lengths. Please don't forget about your trolling motor batteries when you are thinking of the layering analogy. On my boat, I run a Minn Kota Ultrex 36 volt, 112 pound thrust system. If you have room for larger size batteries, and you can see here that this is my trolling motor setup. There's one 31 series battery and two 31 series batteries over here. If you have room in your compartments for larger batteries, I strongly encourage you to get the largest size batteries that will fit. In case of an emergency, you will have extra power. If you are away and there's poor charging facilities, you can get days out of a system with a battery setup that has a large storage capacity.
A group 24 battery simply cannot compete with a group 31. No one ever complains about having too much power. The convenient battery meter allows you to test your battery status. The Tarova is an amazing Minn Kota trolling motor. Proper understanding of stowing and deploying your motor will ensure optimal performance and enjoyment for Tarova anglers. Thank you for watching and listening to these Tarova tips. Your questions or comments are always welcome and I will get back to you in a day or two. Thank you for watching and as always a like, share, subscribe is always very much appreciated. Take care and bye for now.